right, fishy folks, and happy Saturday to you. In the video that I released yesterday, I had a mystery. Well, I've solved that mystery. Do you want to know what it is? Fact, if you didn't see yesterday's video, click the link somewhere in this general area. Watch that video first, then come back and watch this one, okay? But if you've watched that video, stay tuned for mystery solving level 1000. All right, fishy folks, just so you know, I tried for about 20 minutes to get rid of the reflection, different light combinations, blah, 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 can't do it. So you're just going to have to look at my pretty belly with my steam flat aquatic shirt in the reflection. Bob, I hope you're feeling better soon. Uh, if you don't watch Bob steam flat, steam flat aquatics, check it out. He's pretty funny. He's pretty cool. Um, but uh, he has a throat issue, so he won't be making videos for a week or two. So anyway, the mystery of this tank is these had jade head guppies in them. And all of a sudden, there was a ginormous explosion of these light color fry with the black tails. Let's see if we can't focus in on one of those bad boys with this new expensive camera. Nope, because I suck. Anyway. And I made a comment yesterday, I don't know what those could be because there's only guppies in here. And then I remembered about a hundred years ago, I had other fish in here as well. I had platies in here. As a matter of fact, I had this platy in here, which looks strikingly similar to the fry that's already in the tank, doesn't it? I pulled this platy out this morning, hiding in the weeds. Um, to be honest, there hasn't been a male in this tank, a male platy in this tank, probably for, I'd say, two to three months. And so, she must have been holding on to those babies and felt safe enough to drop them. And there are, there's probably 30 of them in here. So, uh, yeah, that's what happened. <clears throat> So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add her to the other platies with Chunky and uh, Chunky's pals. And when these fry grow up, either I will sell them to my local fish store, I will offer offer them pretty cheaply, cheaply, pretty cheap on my, uh, you know, to you guys through a video, or maybe they'll be Oscar food, we'll see. So uh, if you're interested in this platy and platy, Fry, I almost said platy food, it would be Oscar food, and platy fry, shoot me an email with a with a with uh, an offer. Uh, I can't guarantee you when I'm going to be able to catch them all, because like I said, there's about 3,000 in there, plus another 100,000 of the, uh, the guppy fry, so it'll be kind of a pain in the behind to catch them all, but, you know, we'll have to do it. We'll have to do it. What we'll do is we'll probably take a big net catch a bunch of stuff put them in a viewer take another viewer and scoop out all the you know all the fry so all right fishy folks that was the mystery of the day i solved it it really wasn't that difficult when i saw this little guy in the tank there's also supposed to be a blue phantom pleco in here that would be blue phantom for all you people that uh heard me screw up but I haven't seen a blue phantom pleco in here in quite a while. That doesn't mean he's not in here. He could be in the chola wood over here. Uh, he could just be a really good hider. Uh, but as a matter of fact, I thought there was a gibbiceps pleco in here and I couldn't find it for a couple of days. And then the other day, boom, there he was. Oh, look at the blue apple snail. That's from uh, Lucky Schmuck. Thanks, buddy. They're awesome. Hopefully they'll breed and I can sell them, but yeah. All right, fishy folks, that's it for today's special edition of Mystery Theater 9 Gajillion. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com and use promo code WORLDCUP for $10 off your purchase. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Saturday. I have a mystery from yesterday that has been solved. I am the ultimate detective. Just call me Batman. <clears throat> now, that wasn't a good one. 
Good morning, fishy folks, and happy Saturday. I don't know why I always say good morning. Not all of you are gonna watch this in the morning. In fact, it probably won't be released till the afternoon. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Saturday. I have a mystery from yesterday that I've solved. Do you wanna know what it is? Do you wanna see what it was? Do you wanna find out what the problem is? I don't know why I've asked you so many questions. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Saturday to you. Yesterday, I filmed a video. I didn't film it. I filmed it Thursday. I released it yesterday. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Saturday to you. Today, a mystery has been solved. If you watched the video that I released yesterday, I'll put a link in the description somewhere, not in the description, in the description and up here. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. 